Welcome everyone to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Now I don't know if this will be a series or what's going to go on with it, but um, this is one of my favorite games of all time. And... Wow, it was loud. Um, it's one of my favorite games of all time, and I, I just really feel like it deserves a little bit of attention. Especially because right now it's on sale for a dollar and some change um, um, with the Steam Summer Sale. So you might consider picking it up. I'm sure that GOG probably has it as well. The, the one downside of this, if you can see, the resolution is pretty terrible. I'm going to talk over this opening stuff because it's pretty simple. And we won't really have a challenge until we get even get to like uh, level 2. Um, so one idea is that I would just do a full playthrough of this, just from start to finish, because it is that fun. And I could even call it if I wanted to pretend to snare some people in. Um, <laughs> to bait people into watching this series, I could call this a speedrun, right? Because you're kind of limited on your ability to go fast. You know, the only control you have over an episode ending faster or slower is on the final wave how fast you can clear it. So, um, anyways, what I wanted to... why I'm putting this on my channel because, it, you know, maybe it doesn't completely line up with a lot of the other interests that I have. First of all, I love tower defense games, and although I don't play those a whole lot, the last one I probably played was There Are or They Are Billions, which was also a great game, but th this is... This probably will, in my mind at least, outlives that one, longevity-wise. Um, yeah, basically this is a... Most people discover this game through mobile. Um, it's Android. I think actually, in a lot of ways... Um, and the Android version is better <laughs> because you're limited to 800 by 600 resolution in this one, and that's well, it's pretty bare bones. <laughs> so if the graphics look bad, this is the this is the reason. This is abs the, the absolute limit of the game, which is a little bit sad to say. Um, I checked several different forums. I looked for any kind of solution. Uh, just the way the graphics are done. I guess it's just hard-coded that the only resolution this game could run at is uh, is exactly 800 by 600. So you'd have to have a program which stretches the screen, same way like PowerPoint stretches images. Um, but it's that's not available by default, basically. So let's get enough for another pea shooter here. Take care of that guy. We're not. This is not going to be a challenge. No challenges in the beginning here. In fact. I probably want to get as many sunflowers down as possible so I can get as many pea shooters. So I, it may, so this, see how it stops there? There may be a speedrun element where things do happen only as fast as you kill certain objects, especially because this is the beginner map. That might be especially true. So let's go one more row of sunflowers, then we can go nothing but pea shooters from there. And if I, oh, I can't even dig up plants, so this is actually pretty dangerous. <laughs> we'll end up getting, you know, at least two rows of, of uh, pea shooters in the end. One more, one more, one more. That's a lot of plants that aren't giving me sun. Now, let's talk a little bit about the strategy involved in this game. Um, it's, in the beginning, pretty basic, but later on you have a, a large variety of towers or plants and oh okay so strategy t is I would say greater than your typical tower defense game there's a lot more variety a lot of a lot of interesting stuff frankly um, I, I mean I have nothing but great stuff to say about this game if it's only a dollar fifty and you've never played it it's probably worth doing on the PC because it's stress-free you don't have to worry about like <laughs> I don't think there's anything uh, intimidating about the game. Uh, it's so cute. I mean, I use cute, probably that's a pejorative term for some people, but I really feel like this game is, it just has a great art style. Fantastic art style. Um, I remember when the opening trailer came out for this game, uh, and there was a, there's a zombie on our lawn or something like that. Uh, Please, somebody remind me never to sing again, but um, it was a really, really cool, like, music video trailer for their game, and, like, I, I think that the designer for this game, um, he, EA eventually took over, and that's probably what 
which, I mean, Plants vs. Zombies 2 is still a fantastic game, because it's mobile, right? So it doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna let this guy get as close as possible, because I'm gonna invest more in using sunflowers, and then I can put pea shooters down for all the zombies that follow afterwards. So for now, we're gonna really push our luck, and we're gonna go like that. And I'll use it now so that I get it back quicker. And then we need one more, one more, one more, one more. Let's get a row in there. That might not kill that zombie in time. It doesn't look like it will. We'll get the next row started anyway, so. Bummer. Kind of lost 50 sun there unnecessarily, but that's okay. We'll get our first pea shooter, pea shooter rows, first two here, and sun like this. Normally when we have the all five tiles to work with, all five paths, um, we'll only need two rows, but now we're... Yeah, this might be a good person to use our cherry bomb on as well. We'll see. I'll put, you know, my next pea shooter down there as well. Let's see if we can get him. The cone head, always a challenge. Um, so I don't know if I've raved enough about the art style, but everything about it is really fantastic. So much about this game, which is great. We're going to get him. Yes, good. How um, the, the actual destruction of plants works when the zombies eat plants, there's uh, hit points that are kept track of. So this flower, although it doesn't show it, is lighter on hit points than the other ones. I think we'll save that for the final cherry bomb for the final wave. We can pretty much clear the entire final wave in one go because um, cherry bomb's radius is three by three. So we're gonna be in good shape just with one of those. Ah, take a breath, take a drink, let all the sun go. Yeah, so the one thing which would be nice for this game is if it offered an ability to to speed up everything, to make the zombies go twice faster. I thought I even remembered that being a paid feature in one of the things. I don't know. Maybe not. Let's see that. I should do it. I did. Speed run, right? Probably could have done that a little bit earlier. A couple seconds. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the walnut. Funny, the, everything about this game is so cute. In fact, when we get to, again, cute, not in a bad way, but a really good way, in a, in a very entertaining, clever, um, and like attractive. I, I don't know how to say cute in like a positive way other than saying cute. You know, it's uh, clever, nifty, <laughs> whatever. You can create your own. Uh, clever comment for me. <laughs> Remind me what the word is I'm looking for here. Anyway, something that it's easy to fall in love with. And, and the music! Ah, I haven't even talked about the music yet. So we can probably, if I don't choose to make this a, a series, which, you know, there's a good chance I won't, um, I could always just call this a gameplay overview. Because, I mean, again, if you haven't heard of this at all, and you just go download it for your phone at least. Can I get both of them? Probably not. Can I get both? Oh god, I got none. Speedrun failure. Oh no, 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 no. We don't even have the thing. Okay, so we'll have to wait. <laughs> this might work, actually. Make call me crazy, but... This guy eats enough flowers. We might be able to cherry bomb him. Come on, I need two more. I need one more. I need one more. Oh, it's not done. Okay, so never mind. Never mind. We're going to lose a whole bunch of these lawnmowers. We're just testing out how lawnmowers work. First time for everyone. This should not have happened, but whatever. I tried to cut things a little bit too close, didn't I? And I'm, I'm not really... I'm not worried about it. <laughs> really wish there was a way to speed up the game, though. So let's put some plants back down here. Probably we don't want one there, though. Uh, I think we'll have two, and then probably maybe even three. Let's go with two. Let's get 
this down. Two down there. Yeah, we're, we're fine. A little bit scary that we wasted a lot of, a lot of sun. Basically, it was burned in that little maneuver. Trying to get two for one, you end up getting none. It's like uh, that old expression. The bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I went for the two in the bush. And the walnuts have a pretty long recharge time, as you can see with the cherry bombs as well. So it's kind of important to pay attention to those things. As you can see, I, I kind of was, I was caught by that a little bit later. But we're, we're, I mean, this is the first few levels. Shouldn't be any problems with that. Yeah, I was entertaining the notion... How far? I think we could probably... Nah, it doesn't matter. Um, I was entertaining the notion of putting, like, cuts and, like, coming back in at level 2, but, I mean, it's, even this is... Well, I probably should, huh? <laughs> but the music! You can just listen with this on the background, and the music itself is just glorious. In fact, I cranked up the music. It might be competing with my voice slightly, because... <laughs> I did crank it up quite a lot for this uh, for this video, much more than in my other games. So much so that I might even get copyright flagged. But <laughs> this is not a video. I I mean I don't care about that anyway. But I'm really not expecting big things from this video of all things. So where do we want to go? Looks like cone people will take care of this there. Yeah, that worked. Good. And this might be where we meet Crazy Dave. Let's you dig up a plant to make room for another plant. <laughs> it's it's wonderfully creative. Yeah, I was trying to look for a word, I would say creative. <laughs> Alright, let's go Bull Dave a winner. And the first one of these is also going to be a bit slow, so... Yeah, but I, I don't know. Is there a way to speed it up? I wish. So. Lawnmowers will be important later. Um, actually, I thought that the lawnmowers give you points per victory. And if you're wondering why I'm not bowling yet, to get these to bounce, you want as many zombies on the screen as possible. I'll just show with this one. So, if there was another wave of zombies coming here, that would have maybe hit them. So it's kind of good to get a lot of zombies on the screen before you start bowling. Now we're going to reach, you can only store a maximum number, so obviously min-max efficiency dictates that we use one before... That wasn't too bad, we got two. Before the thing fills, and that was also a miss. Kind of a bummer. Here comes the last one, so we got to use that. Here we go. Yay, we got some fun. I'm, I'm maxing way more than necessary for the very beginning of this, but as soon as the final wave comes for this, I want a lot so that I can try to speed run. Probably this one next. Ah, that was good. That was good. And I seem to remember doing bowling when I got points per zombie. Okay, so anyways, let's talk about other stuff because this will turn into a plants for zombies slash block. Uh, I don't... I'm trying to think of other actual tower defense games that I really have found enjoyable. There was another one, actually. Uh, I have my phone right here. Let me... Let me whip it up. Realm Defense? I think it was pretty good. I found it pretty enjoyable. There's another one. Well, I have also played... What is that other Steam game called? Um, with the robot who talks the whole time and the blue orbs that they steal from the center thing and they take them back. Uh, I'm blanking on the name right now. Q 
cannot remember. I could I, I haven't played it enough. I'd have to actually open my Steam library. Anything I do off this screen will also um, pause the game, which we don't we don't want to do that. So other tower defense games. I'm trying to think, what was the first probably the first tower defense game I ever played was Dungeon Keeper. I'd consider that tower defense. Maybe it's more well, I don't know. There's a uh, somewhere in the middle there. There's a break between tower defense and um, okay. Now we can go crazy. Find a wave. I can show you this explode a nut. We now have two of, so we can probably do this and that. Voila! Great. So this spud mine. I think it's spud mine. It is perfect for starting off. Potato mine. Explodes on contact, but takes a while to arm itself. Yeah, so there's a little bit of min-maxing you can do here. Now we're actually starting to get into some of the interesting strategy. Oh yeah, we have um, these high jumpers who can, well, I mean, as you guess, they can fling themselves over a plant. So, there is a timing, basically this is going to save me the necessity of planting a hundred point plant to kill the first zombie. So I can build up my economy a little bit faster. And I'm sure not, I'm not the first one to figure this out, but we can wait probably till he's here and get the spud mine to trigger. Looks like we won't even have to because we have the bonus sun already and we're not going to be slow to get the next sunflower. So that worked out well. And now I can start thinking about the pea shooters for the one after this because the, re -time, the recharge time on it, oh look how close it is. Boom! Just in time! Oh my gosh, that was <laughs> much closer than I was intending to cut that, but it's fine. We made it in the end, didn't we? Okay, we can kill that guy with a normal pea shooter. And we still have this potato mine. We might have to use it against um, one of the javelin pole vault people. Probably... Okay, we got lucky. The same zombie went in the same lane. I, I'm pretty sure that it's random. If we replayed this map, it might... He, I don't know if he would come to that in that same lane or not. It, maybe he would. Anyway, when these pole vultures come... Okay, this guy, he's gonna get a potato mine. So I'm not gonna bother. I'm, I'd rather keep a, building up my single line of pea shooter defense than worry about putting two in the same lane. Although we do have the cherry bomb, so it's a nice emergency backup. And two rows of sunflowers is probably all I need. Ah, yep, and that's Spadow. Of course it comes in the only one I'm not ready for. Let's put this here. He'll probably end up jumping over it, but you can see he moves very fast. After he jumps, he moves a lot slower. Yeah, I think even slower than a normal zombie. Maybe not. He might get a bite in. He did. That's unfortunate. Killed one of my plants. We'll just put a flower way the heck out there. Why not? And start getting two everywhere. Uh, potato mine. Don't think we'll need it. We, we can put another one like way out here as well. I mean, we're starting to roll in the sun. You can see the two rows of sunflowers is really much more than we need. Put this down there. We probably if we get three in a row, we don't even need to use the, the walnut. So you can see even two in a row is killing that conehead. He barely gets the chance to gnaw on the walnut. I'm, I imagine that this is one of those games that's so old and most people are already pretty familiar with it, so it won't draw a lot of traffic, but I just really like it and I think I, I may end up doing a whole series out of it. But one of the things I'm going to do is probably keep these videos a little bit shorter. Uh, I, I kind of like that style for this kind of game. Basically, I don't think a video of this is entertaining for longer than 20 minutes. Um, although I could sit here and play a whole bunch of it. Maybe I'll just keep playing or record the next episode or something. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I think breaking this video into smaller chunks is healthier for everyone. I really, I really think it is. So, right there. And then we can put this here and then the two places where 
we didn't kill with our cherry bombs are being taken care of. Very good. Okay, so now we have uh, a little bit more strategy. Uh, you can see the strategy is building on itself. We have a, an ice shooter, snow pea. And this is going to allow us to... We only need one per lane. It will slow them down a whole bunch. So, as, I mean, as you guess. So what I'll do is I'll hit escape here. And I'll call this first episode to a close. Hope you've enjoyed. If you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the music, first of all. Um, I, I know I talked a little bit about that, but I'm enjoying it. I have it on very low, and I get to hear it, and it's entertaining. But also, I hope you enjoyed this look at Plants vs. Zombies. Um, just because this may be the first video in the series, um, I'd like to draw your attention to that like button. <laughs> I don't talk about it otherwise uh, beyond first episode, but just for the search ratings on YouTube. So if you wouldn't mind pressing the like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, let me know <laughs> if you're interested in seeing more of this. Uh, I may, I'll probably do three episodes of it regardless. And then beyond that, we'll, I'll do a little bit of feeling out of how, uh, how popular it is. But not just that, I, I'm actually going to ask myself that question. Because I, I actually want to play games. Um, I want to put things on the channel and do series of stuff, even if I just want to. So that may come into, that may be the biggest factor um, out of everything, regardless of how many people are viewing it. So anyways, thanks for watching, and until the next episode, or if there is a next episode, take care.